just love this view from the garden. thought I'd get an early start out in the garden today um, just doing whatever needs to be done um, yesterday that was the plan and it was just one of those days nothing worked out to where um, I could get out in the garden before it got hot and then I, uh, when the opportunity arose for me to come out here it was just way too hot it's supposed to cool off a little bit uh, in a few days, but I, I can't wait a few days. So I got out here early. So let's see what we can get done today. These cucumbers are looking kind of sickly. Not, not, all of, not all of it is, but it's getting some kind of disease it looks like. Um, it's probably from the cucumber beetles. I've been seeing quite a few of those. But yeah, it looks kind of bad. I'm thinking about, I've never grown peas before, spring or fall. And I'm thinking about doing a, and they're starting to like be kind of weird shaping. So I think I'm going to try and grow some peas at least in these two places um, I do have this uh, cattle this side of the cattle panel that I don't have a bed under I may try growing them in the ground right there uh, of course I'll do it on the other side I tried a I tried a little sugar baby watermelon just because just because I had an extra one I just stuck it in there but these wood chips are fresh and that's probably why it didn't grow very good but I just wanted to see what it would do so I guess that's three sides of a cattle panel I might try growing some peas on. This uh, summer squash and zucchini is like exploded with foliage. But I've been seeing squash bugs over here. I've been picking them off as much as I can. But next year I really believe I'm gonna wait until fall to plant these. Just because it seems like as soon as they get going good, the squash bugs take them out. And I just, I just hate those things. Wow, these tomatoes over here need to be picked too. I thought this was a brandy wine, but it doesn't have any kind of purple on it at all. And I thought they had purple. The leaves are like a potato. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so I am 5'2", <laughs> and these are way over my head. This one, I think, is a little bit taller than this one, but that just shows you how tall they are.
good morning guys um i started this video um on july the 27th um today is august the 7th uh the day i started this video um my dad passed away and i really haven't been up here at the garden very much just enough to get um, a harvest so that it wouldn't go bad and um, so I'm just back out here today uh, I've got the the chickens are kind of free-ranging a little bit I'll just let them out and about Anyways, um, things look a little, I don't know, kind of bad up here. Not everything does, but the, uh, the squash and zucchini plant isn't. I mean, it's, it's doing okay. It's just... Um, Ellie May. It's okay if they're running around. Ellie! She can't take it. She wants them back in their pen. Back in the coop. Ellie, come on. Come on. Come out. Ellie, it's okay. Come on. Good girl. Leave them. Leave them alone. It's okay. Ugh. The flowers have really jumped up there. But anyways, the squash bugs are kind of in the cucumber beetles they just spread diseases like crazy and the squash bug eggs just everywhere I look but they're still producing so I'm just gonna let them go until until they're done uh, the green bean bed is exploded and uh, there's little green beans all over so I'll be harvesting those I would say I don't know a week or so but a lot of my tomato plants are getting sickly I couldn't believe how fast They have uh, lost leaves, but they're still blooming, so and my sunflowers are hanging their heads. The birds haven't gotten to them yet. I would love to. I would love to uh, put a bag over their heads and keep the birds off. There's one over here. I didn't even realize this. I knew this one was here because I put it here. I actually put it here for my neighbor because uh, they always face the way the sun comes up. So or in my experience that's what they do and uh this one um opened the day we buried my dad and it was absolutely gorgeous and then it rained and the petals shoot the sun's right there i don't know if you can 
see, but the petals were so long on this one. I don't know if it's a different kind or if those are just so tall I couldn't see them, but this one was absolutely beautiful. So I'm, I definitely want to cover this one up. This one would be more doable than those because those are so tall. My hollyhocks bloomed. I wasn't sure that they would bloom this year, but they did. They're so pretty. There is so much beauty on the homestead that I think, well, you know, they always say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And that is so true because there's things that one person thinks is beautiful and another doesn't. The, all these tomato plants are done. All these tomato plants, these are uh, a determinant variety. So they just put on all their fruit and they ripen pretty much at the same time so they are about to be pulled out and uh, I was gonna let them turn a little bit more on the vine and then I'm gonna take everything out of here I'm gonna see how many days I have left um, to plant something I got a couple of beds I can do that with I may put some lettuce in this bed just because of all the shade that's cast from the green beans and uh, I'll take out those calendula plants and just uh, dry them for the seeds and then whatever flowers are left. And then I'll have seeds for next year. But yeah, the uh, the ox hearts they got kind of sickly, but the Amish paste—I mean, they just have a little bit at the top left, but they're still they're still flowering. So I'm gonna leave them there. I still have quite a few tomatoes to pick. Yeah, and these are more determinate uh, tomatoes and they're ready to come off of there. Some of them have split from all the rain we got. These are Cleomies. I've had these for years. Some of them bloom kind of on the pink side and some of them bloom more on the purple side. And I just think they're beautiful. I 
I hear you, honey. Ellie Mae. Come here. Come here, Ellie. Leave her alone. Come on. Ellie, no. She's okay. She is okay. Let her be. Ah, ah. See, she wants her in the coop. Ellie May, it's okay. Let her be. There you are. I thought you might be in there. Boy, I gotta get the eggs. So they're all accounted for. I only let them free range when I'm out here. Ellie won't hurt them. She just... She just wants them back where they're supposed to be. Can you leave her alone? Get down. Ellie Mae, get down. Now leave them alone. Let them be chickens. But I swear half the time they want back in. So I think I'm going to end this video with just some things that I've gotten on a video that is beautiful to me. Uh, things I see every day on the homestead that I think is beautiful. So you guys have a wonderful day and uh, we'll see you on the next video. I just love this view from the garden.